Can we, well now, can we chat a bit about Nat's game? Certainly! I have, well, let me start with this. Blank Willow. <laughs> How about Willow Blank? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Brad. Make believe I'm Gene Rayburn here. Blank, blank Willow. Blank Wind in the Willow. <laughs> Just like the show. <laughs> the buzzer would have gone off there. <laughs> I was never good at games. You were fabulous. I watched. It was so great. I used you to... and Charles Nelson Riley were my favorites. Oh, they were. Oh, you get up off the, 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 the seats where you were sitting and run around the stage. Oh, like I, look, I was watching one day and I was, I was switching around and I, came in and I was doing push ups. I thought, <laughs> what are you doing? You can't even do push ups. And I was down there, to, I don't know what it was, it was something. It was a free-for-all, it, it was so it entertaining, was. it was great, it was and nobody, so loose and relaxed. I know, and nobody ever said anything, we never got any jokes. We went on and you just did it, and Gene Rayburn is the greatest straight man in the business, or was. Uh, but, and he was wonderful, you know, you'd go, Gene, he'd go, yes, you know, and he, so he would always, you know, always set it up for you, and he was, he was marvelous. Now, it seems as though TV's changed considerably. Oh, yeah, I think so. It's definitely not as loose. It's all more polished, yeah. seemingly. Oh, yes, you know. Packaged properly and everything. Oh, you know. yeah, I think so. I think, you know. Uh, first of all, I don't think there are any game shows anymore outside of Jeopardy, are there? And Wheel of Fortune, you Wheel know. Wheel of Fortune, that's it. But nothing as fun as Match Game, which is, of course, still on Game Show Network. Yeah, oh, you were on three times a day. Is Somebody called me from the phone <laughs> You know you're on three times a day. I said, you're joking. I didn't even know we were on the air. This was about a year ago. But I guess. But it was great fun. It was nobody ever, you know, said, don't do that, don't do this. I mean, you know, when you got up and did push-ups and sit-ups and various things, you know, nobody ever said, don't do that. The only thing, my, my friend Marsha Wallace, who was my best friend, that we met on Match Game, and she was, she was, I mean, I, with certain people I would say, all right, they can share my dressing room. So she came in, she was sharing my dressing room, and I said, if I seem a little uh, aloof, uh, it's nothing personal. I, I just separated from my husband. And she said, oh, that's okay. I just got out of the loony bin. <laughs> 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 and we became friends, and we have been best friends ever since. She is a wonderful girl. And one day, it was one of those questions like, ball, something, 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 you know, blank. And so she said, and obviously the word was balls. So when they got to her, she said, genitalia. They said, stop, cut, 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 I can't say genitalia. She said, why not? I mean, you say everything. I said, no, you cannot. We're going to reshoot this. And don't be saying genitalia. <laughs> <laughs> well, a lot of those uh, blanks could have been filled with. Oh, yes. Absolutely. Well, I know. There's a, I got fan mail and... Uh, I've gotten fan mail from people who said, I watched this when I was a little a little boy or a little girl, and of course I never got it. Now I get all the innuendos and all the double entendres. And so and it really is when I watch it, I go, oh, do you got it? Yes, you did. Yeah, it was no, so it was funny. Amazing. I love it. I know, it was amazing. I think I draw myself from that kind of humor. <laughs> yeah. You know, sometimes I, they'll call me vulgar, but I'm not. <laughs> no, of course you I not. am not vulgar. Of course you are. Just You're a, adorable. <laughs> thank you. So are you. you is it? It's a, a defense mechanism, you know. Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. When you're drop dead gorgeous, you have to have them. <laughs> you have to, yes, that's right. You have to have those defense mechanisms. I know that. I know. Did, was there any alcohol on that set? Oh, never. <laughs> <laughs> you never got. You got to drink. And I brought these lovely glasses because oh, they reminded me of. Those were great martinis. Mm -hmm. Now I never drank martinis on the air. I used to drink vodka and club soda because I thought if I have a martini, I don't have to carry me. Paul Lynn, of course, they used to show up doing Hollywood Square going, Wow, everything's right. You know? <laughs> so they stopped. I did that show. They don't serve alcohol to anybody. You have to, if you want to drink, you have to go across the road. But anyway, it, we, <laughs> on a break. On a break. <laughs> so we would do three shows, and then you'd break for dinner, and you'd have drinks, and then you'd go back and do two more. <laughs> that sounds like fun. And it was. It was great yeah. fun. And I remember I had a 28-year-old boyfriend. And I broke up with him, and Charles. Oh, girl. <laughs> and Charles was saying, 
I saw a woman in a, he's doing this on the air. I saw a woman in a parking lot, and she was very happy. She was with a young man, and now today, he's getting married to somebody else. And she is here along. I'm going, will you shut up? <laughs> he was he's just jealous. This. He, he was wanted doing that 28-year-old boyfriend, yeah. didn't he? Oh, no. He's, I don't think, I don't think, I guess no Charles. Well, I yes, would have pegged him for... Well, oh, yes, he's gay, but... <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know about his... Uh, he always had uh, friends. He always had lots of friends. But. Well, I have lots of friends, too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm over Sometimes that now. We're very close. <laughs> I'm, getting, I'm getting too old to have those kinds of friends. 